always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes and no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 94, NASDAQ is off 408, SP's down 50, gold contract up $35, trading at $17.99.10 an ounce. We got silver up 89 cents, $22.40 an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck, $71.92 a barrel. Notes and bonds, the 10 year up 26, trading 131.04, the 30 up 13 ticks. Trading at 162.05, and, and check this out, man. This is pretty wild. You get the 10-year yield, folks, at 1.41. Pretty wild. King dollar. King dollar is down 451 ticks, trading at 96.06. Euro is at 113. The yen is out here at 113.60, and the British pound is trading at 133 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you made a new all-time high. Failed on price. It's not going to fail on volume because it looks to me like we're going to have volume up here. Last high at 72 million. But it being only 3 o'clock, they can bang out like 95 million in there. And, you know, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Uh, there's no doubt that as soon as it hit that, as soon as it got over the highs today, they sold it big time. But that being said, this is still right next to the highs. That's how this thing shakes out. NDX 100, we go take a look at the three Qs. A little different ball game in the three Qs. What you have with the three Qs is that you got over the highs of yesterday and then gave it up in spades. And then you are going to have, let me look at this for a second, because it looks to me, you're going to be pushing. Yeah, we'll see when it shakes out tomorrow. But what this is really doing, one more day, yeah, one more day you're going to actually pu be pushing that swing point with volume. And that means higher price also. Pretty wild. The gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract out here, trading up $34.30. We hit the 1800 mark. Not that, does that mean anything? No, it doesn't. What means something is that we have the wide price spread going with us. You get the volume going in this year, 158,000 contracts. You took out the consolidation. Next step up here is somewhere about 1825. 1925 is game. That's the way I'm looking at this market. We go take a look at the silver contract. What do we have at silver? Silver is always high, more highly volatile than gold. Uh, bottom line, finally caught a bid. It's up 90 cents. You're trading 53,000 contracts. It already had rejected the lower price from the last time we were down there on September 29th. That's saying that silver's back on the track to get up to the 25, 28. And I suspect silver actually wants to go to the $28 mark right now. You're at 22.45. Let's go take a look at note, note and bond market because this is, a, there is no doubt, you know, you get the Fed coming out saying, okay, we're going to taper. We're going to bring that down quicker. We're going to go up in our rates. And guess what? Market is buying um, the bonds. That's the, and we very well might have a small ABC structure on the way up. The 10 years done 1.2 million out here today. Most times, when you have this type of price spread, you should be banging about 1.7. So it can still use more volume. Um, we are going against, let's see what we're going against here. The high is, uh, yeah, the high is two, two, 2 million contracts. Two, 2 million is, is the normal deal when you get a, a big day like this. And good old King Dollar. So for us, metal bulls, King Dollar is helping tremendously out here. Any type of commodity bull, that's, that's the real bottom line. Um, you know, we'll see what, what shakes out. I mean, the lowest swing here is a 95.517. You know, my take is that we're coming back to the breakout area, and this is where we've been building cause. But there's no doubt it's been frustrating. Yesterday was a big day because yesterday you got over the swing high. It failed to hold price, pulls all the way back. That's telling me that, you know, we have the breakout area that is game. Some of the higher volume equities. Let's go take a look at that out here today. So you have uh, Apple down seven, almost eight bucks right now. Uh, Ma Bell finally caught a bid. That's up a buck forty-eight. You got Nvidia down twenty-two dollars. That's having a problem out here. Pfizer's up two dollars. You got uh, look at that. That's getting smoked. Blackett uh, Holdings. That's down four sixty. 
You get Verizon up two bucks. So this is really strange, man. Look at the, what, what the heck? So what, what, the, what the phone companies definitely did is that they, they got to the lower end of their consolidation, rejected lower price. Now you get a monster move. And I suspect with this, this, this whole move into the, uh, the telecoms as well as the commodities, folks, this is the inflation move. Uh, that's where this, to me, is shaking out because you can see, you know, Marbell at this price pays an 8.8 percent .8 dividend. Okay, so you could get two different things out of this. You could get the aspect of the principal going higher, meaning the the equity itself going higher. Plus, you get the kicker um, of a nice dividend. So, pretty big number. Inside the NDX 100, let's go say, take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. Uh, Strength-wise, what you have, you have Peloton is up by 2.7%. You got Kraft Heinz up 2.1%. Charter Communications up 25 Taken away from it. Adobe's down 10.5%. You get Skyworks down 9.5%. Xilinx is down 8 And NVIDIA is down 7 You can You can see it's so, always so intriguing watching how the NASDAQ likes to trade. Uh, let's go to Adobe first because this is, you talk about taking it on the chin quick. Holy cow. In four days, the stock has gone from 675 to 556. And we have volume. And it does, well, let's see. Let's put this on a weekly and see what we got up here. Yeah, see that on a weekly, this is, this is set up for a, a, come back to the breakout area at least. That's 502. You can see this. There's no volume at highs. I mean, none. And then you have volume off the high. What everyone should be doing right now is this. Over the weekend, folks, bottom line, you want to look at equities. And if, you're, if any of your equities in the portfolio have volume off the high, I would put a stop right underneath it. Okay? Give it nothing. Volume off the high m most times sets up a very large correction. As soon as we come back, we're going to be talking about Newmont, and you talk about Newmont finally catching a bid. This is these are institutions buying this. Newmont's up four and a half percent, has volume behind the move. We have the gold going higher, as well as the gold and silver equity. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.